Good morning, my name is Tom Solomon. I'm a master gardener and master naturalist in Harris County. Today we are at a uh, Precinct 2 greenhouse and I'm going to introduce the concepts of seeding, division, and bumping up. We're going to start today by talking about the seeding operation. Uh, there's a couple different containers that you can use to seed. I call this particular unit a liner and these are 4 by 4s uh, The second thing that you have to determine is how much seeding you want to do per container. If you put one or two seeds in a 4x4, four four, then you can actually do a bump up from the 4x4 four four right into a, a gallon container. But if you put 20 or 30 seeds in here, then you actually have to go through a division or separation step before you go to the gallon. Um, same way with the liners. If you put a few seeds, uh, one transfer, but if you put many, then you have to separate. When I use the 4 by 4s I actually use packing peanuts. I usually put one in each of the containers. I have found that the, the root system heads for wherever the water stays and for whatever reason uh, these packing peanuts actually hold a little bit more water than the soil themselves. From this point I start filling the containers and I fill, fill them right directly to the top and I actually smooth them out. Very, very similar, same way with these. I just fill them to the top of the container and then I take them and tap them a little bit on the table and as you can see they go down about that far. I don't refill them but at least it gives me a little bit of room so that the water doesn't run off the top. You might have noticed that uh, I'm using a very typical potting mix uh, that can be purchased from most of the big box stores. Uh, anything that is very, very light germination type soils are fine. Uh, there are other multiple um, different potting mixes that are available or germination mixes. All of these are fine for the seeding and the separation operation. Okay you need a very very light mix for those two operations only when you go to a bump up into a gallon do you have to change off to a sandy loam mix after we get our soil prepared and we patted it down a little bit the next important operation is to soak the media for, for the seeding operation and I do this quite heavily and this particular material, the potting soil that I'm using here, takes a little bit of time before it'll hold the water. But I water it down very, very well. Okay, so it's ready to uh, uh, accept the seed. Make sure that you have the material marked even before you put the seed on because if something stops you, you'll forget what you have. Today we're actually going to seed yellow Indian grass. This was seed that was picked from Sheldon State Park in 2009. This is yellow Indian grass that was picked at Sheldon Lake last year 2009 and is still highly viable. Um, and this is what we're going to use in today's seeding operation. I usually just start with a handful of seed and I actually work along the edges first all the way around the container and as you can see I am I am not being stingy with the amount of seed that I've got as you can see in my hand this bag of seed is still very very full and uh, I, I since we're at the end of the season I usually seed a little bit heavier because of the fact that the germination rate is going to slow down once the seeding has been done, the next operation is again to water down. I do this very lightly, but it, it wets the seed. Next, I put in a little bit of vermiculite. You can get vermiculite at the big box stores. You don't need much of this, but it seems to hold the, the moisture on the seed and get a better germination rate. Again, you don't need much, but it does seem to help the germination. 
One last step after I've put the vermiculite on it, once again, wet it down. Okay, this is done. We're finished. Now we just wait until the plants come up. As heavily as I've seeded this, uh, assuming that we have a, a normal germination rate, we're going to have to divide or separate these 4x4s into multiple 4x4s once the plants get to about an inch to inch and a half. There are too many seeds in here to go right directly from these containers up to a gallon container. I've shown you today the, the uh, yellow Indian grass seeding operation, but the same thing applies to to any kind of forbs, whether it be Rattlesnake Master or Bush Mint or whatever. Uh, this seed happened to be quite large and it was easy to control. Uh, smaller seeds, uh, you, can, you can actually mix it with uh, rice or sugar and it makes it a little easier to distribute.